Hey folks, welcome to Truck King and the Detroit Auto Show. Right now we're going to take a look at this, the all new GMC Sierra EV Edition 1. This thing has all the features, it's a brand new electric truck from General Motors, and we're going to tell you all about it right now. Yes. So the truck you see behind us is the GMC Sierra EV Edition 1. This is a limited edition truck. They're only going to build so many of them right off the bat. And this thing has every single feature you could possibly add to this truck. So it's luxurious and it has all the EV stuff on it as well. Yeah, including the Denali name, which is probably why they've put this together. Because you can buy basically the same truck over at Chevy. Yeah, fair enough. So what are the numbers, Dad? They're pretty impressive. 754 horsepower, 785 pound-feet of torque, 400 miles of estimated range, and they say you can get back 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes because this truck supports 350 kilowatt fast charging. So that's a pretty good charge time. So yeah, 400 miles of range, but I think honestly, those are the same numbers you're gonna find on Silverado. So the reason you'd buy this truck is the way it looks and for the Denali name. So let's walk around and exactly. take a closer look. So let's have a peek. Yeah, exactly. So the first thing you're gonna notice besides that fascia up there, 24 <laughs> inch wheels. GM has gone crazy with the wheels on this truck. Now the truck is big itself, so the 24s don't look massive. They actually kind of fit in with the aesthetic of the truck. Yeah, not until you focus on them, but they, that's a big wheel. Well, I think the question now becomes, how big do we go? <laughs> Are we really going to go up to 26s next, or is 24s it? And then, of course, you get this bigger wheel, and that just means that it's probably not going to ride quite as well. So, yeah, I, I don't know. The styling is there, but how big is too big? I don't know the answer to that question yet. <laughs> Me either. Now, the other thing that's interesting is this unique two-tone color scheme. And... What would you call that color? Yeah, I don't know. Gray? Gray, gray? Extra gray? It's sort of like moon <laughs> dust. Yeah, it is a nice color, and that's sort of the Denali uh, motif, right? It's sort of that understated luxury. It's the dark tone, and that's exactly what you're seeing right here as well, right? Exactly, and I think that's the whole thing here is why, how do you differentiate between Chevy and GMC? So this truck that has 9,500 pounds of towing as well, so it's pretty capable, but I actually think the most interesting utility feature, and sadly, because of the glass, I can't get in there and show you, is the mid-gate. So this truck has, and this is a callback to the avalanche of the old days, a mid-gate. So that whole wall at the back or the front end of your bed will actually fold down and allow you to load things right up into your cab. Um, it's, it's smart if you're hauling long things, say a kayak. You can fit a full kayak in there with the actual tailgate up. Um, it's, it's one of those unique features that I think GM went back to to try to draw people into the truck. Very much so. The other thing, of course, is that it was introduced on Avalanche over 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of people understand what it is and they get kind of a kick out of it when they see it now. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny, we should mention Avalanche again, because when these trucks came out, Silverado and Sierra, a lot of people mentioned that it has a little bit of that sort of flying buttress design that the Avalanche had. Yep. So it's a little bit of a callback to that truck as well. I don't think GM necessarily intended it to be that way, but it certainly looks that way, and it is recognized by people in the public that it's an Avalanche. Well, the other thing, of course, is, you know, there's, there's no separation between cab and, and, uh, Correct. and bed. bed. Yeah. So it's it's more of a unibody setup, and quite honestly, I think it's uh, it's for strength. Yeah, that's probably true. So yeah, this truck is built on the Altium platform. That's essentially a frame and a battery pack all married into one. And this is the same platform that supports just about every one of General Motors EVs now. So that was sort of a smart thing to standardize the platform and then bring on all these different body styles onto it. So let's take a look at the back end. Sure. So yeah, it wouldn't be a GM if you didn't have those bumper steps down there. I appreciate that they brought those along. And then this one also has the multi-pro tailgate on it, which is again, not unique to this truck, but they made sure that they brought all the utility that they possibly could to the Sierra EV. Because sure, it's gonna be a, a truck that's sold a little bit as a fashion statement, but it's a truck, so you better be able to work with it. And so they kept all those features intact. Yeah, absolutely correct. I mean, even though it's an EV, it's a truck, it's gotta work. Everything you need is back here. Exactly. Yeah, I, don't, I think that's just about it on the Sierra EV. This is just a small first look. We actually haven't been in a Silverado or a Sierra EV yet to drive them. Of course, as soon as we can get our hands on them, we will because I want to test these things and see how they actually perform in the real world, especially compared to an F-150 Lightning. So yeah, like I said, that's it for this one. Just a short first look. Nope, I noticed one got? other thing. The plug-in is back here. Oh, okay, let's look. 
Sure, and that is something a little bit different. You're actually going to plug in the truck at the rear, and Dad pointed it out earlier, and right away I said, well, yeah, if I went to the public chargers I use, I got to back in. Obviously, GM did that on purpose. They're they okay with that. The question is, you know, did they did do this because they had to for some design reason? Yeah. Or are they just trying to mix it up because otherwise pretty much everybody else puts it up front. Yeah, that so, is So, anyway, but nobody's here to answer that question right now, but we will get to the bottom <laughs> of this. It is an interesting difference, no doubt about that. And from a safety perspective, you should back into that parking space, so maybe that's all it is. That's true, too. <laughs> now you can sign off. Okay, sounds good. So, yeah, that's it for this first look, guys. Uh, please come back to the channel as we keep exploring Detroit Auto Show and finding lots more cars and trucks to show you. See ya.